my channel guys today I thought I'd do a demonstration of how to make homemade natural deodorant now before I dive into the dive into the tutorial I thought I'd just mention a few things beforehand now when you switch from using conventional deodorants to using natural deodorants it can you can go through like a transition period where you might get like a rash or something under your arms when you use it or it might be like irritated or itchy now if this happens you can do what is called an armpit detox it, this does sound really strange I know when I first heard it I was like what is this it's pretty simple to do I'll link in the cards but above the blog post where I should like where I talk about how to do one and what the benefits of doing one like are so I'll link that in the cards above and you guys can check it out if you like but yeah if you do switch from using a conventional deodorant to a natural deodorant just be aware that this may happen and if it does there are things that you can do to help such as leaving out baking soda in the ingredients list or yeah go doing that armpit detox because it helps to get rid of all the toxins that have built up over time from using conventional sprays and things. All right, so let's get started on the homemade natural deodorant. Yay! So what you'll need for the ingredients are two tablespoons of shea butter, three tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of arrowroot powder, and essential oils like are optional, but I, I like to use them just to give it a bit of a natural fragrance. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the shea butter and coconut oil in a quart sized glass mason jar. And place this in a small saucepan of water over medium heat until it's melted. Next you're going to remove it from heat and add the baking soda and arrowroot powder. And then you're going to mix it really well until it's completely combined. Next you're going to add the essential oils if you're using them and pour the mixture into a glass jar or old deodorant container for storage. Just a side note, it doesn't need to be stored in the fridge, you can just keep it at room temperature. Now it may take several hours to completely harden, so if you want to speed up the process, you can place it in the fridge for a few minutes and this will help it to harden quicker. And that's it, you're done. It's pretty easy to make, as you saw, and it's fantastic to use as in the scheme of things, it's actually cheaper to do it this way because you can make more of it and it can last over a longer period of time than buying small portions of natural deodorant and constantly going through it all the time. Now, if you're not into making natural deodorant or you don't have the time to do it, sometimes this can be the case. I use a natural pre-made deodorant from Porter Healing and I'll link this in the description below if you want to check them out as well. I'll write out the whole recipe as well in the description below for you guys to check that out too. Now if you're new to the tribe feel free to subscribe down below. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment your thoughts on the video or what other videos you'd like me to do in the future, some ideas that you might have. I hope you liked it guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!